Hello buddy, welcome to another quick video. Um, this probably will be fairly quick tonight, but this can't tell behind me, the sun's about to set. So we're heading up Sir William Hill to the trick point in the Peak District, and we're going to see if we can get some nice shots coming across the field. Um, some interesting cloud, so I hope that'll get a bit of interest as well. It'll basically take a few snaps, so let's go have a wander up. Uh, very rocky road that takes you up there, but yeah. Some looks at what we can find. I've been up here really, so I've actually cased out a bit of some, yeah, possibly some compositions that might work. But the big thing is going to be big vistas. We've got a bit of high cloud. Um, and I love it, it's just me like trying to get some colours coming across. Um, big thing with sunsets is you've either got to be very lucky with the cloud and hope that it works, or sort of you know, get a rough idea what you're doing first. Hopefully, this is going to come out, it might do, it might not. But some of the shadows that are being cast at the moment are really quite pretty. There's a radio tower just off at the trig point as well um, that actually works quite nicely. But hoping looking out over that. A bit of a belt of Venus, so that nice sort of lovely sort of bluey purple effect that you get sort of away from the sunset that blended in might work quite nicely. Um, but I love it to so go out and have a bit of a play. Now, if you've not tried sunset photography before, it's well worth popping out somewhere that you know and somewhere that you know you feel safe doing it. Because obviously, if you're doing it properly, you're going to be out sort of till after the sunset, it might be getting a little bit dark. Um, but if find somewhere that sort of you know that you think. Mm, might work and go out in the daytime look for different compositions and look at different sort of areas that you think might work um, one app that i use to actually work out where the sun is going to set is called the photographer's ephemeris um, now you can access it online for free but you do have to pay for it on mobile but it's really handy because you can find out exactly at which point the sun's going to be setting i know a few people use photo pills as well that's a really good app for it uh, but it's just little bits that help you along and um, well Essentially, if you're in the right spot, it can help you with your composition as well. But right, I'm going to carry on up the lane now and uh, get up to that trig point. So it gives us a nice big view out all over the uh, sort of dark peak area of the Peak District. Now it's quite windy up on top, which is why I've got down jacket on at the minute. But so there's the uh, the radio tower behind me, and the sun's going down over there, which doesn't really come out great on the video side of it. But it's starting to get some really nice colour, and it's dipping behind some clouds, which I kind of hope is going to dip down below those. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we'll get a nice bit of glow being chucked up onto the cloud. Um, so I've just spin you around. You've got all over in that direction. Just the startings of the belt of these, you've got those little bit, little bit of blueness. If that comes up, so you've got a little bit of, uh, bit of extra sort of colour to it, that'd be quite nice. Uh, but essentially, you've just got great views. When I mean, you've got over there, Froggit Edge panning around, so it comes across, you've got Paddley Gorge over there, Higator in that direction, and all the way over there, Stanage Edge, going right the way around, you've got Bamford Edge over there, and just behind. Wind Hill, which is the big one over there. You've got the Lady Bower set of reservoirs. So you've got a good view all around. Uh, we just got to see if it, uh, if it pays off. Hopefully it will, uh, but we have made a brew and brought it up with us just in case, because where we're actually parked is literally down the end of that lane. Uh, got a lovely park up for the night down there in the van, so it should be quite nice. But just got to hope that it uh, it comes off really, and yeah, like I say, apologies if you do get a bit of wind noise on the mic because it's quite blowy up top. But we are quite high up now. As far as white balance, I think like that go. Um, if you're shooting raw, it doesn't really matter, but normally I'll sort of shoot for around about between 5,600 Kelvin up to 6,000 for 
a sunset, sometimes pushing it a little bit more than that. Um, but like I say, if you're shooting raw, you can do that in post anyway, so it's not much of a problem. ISO-wise, you're shooting towards fairly bright sunlight, even at sunset. Uh, but like I say, I just let it sort itself out. Normally it's between 200 and 400 for doing a sunset shot. Nothing too major at all. Um, as far as shutter speed goes, let it sort itself out. Put it in aperture priority, set myself to f8, shoot away. I mean, we're starting to get a little bit of colour now just over there as well. It doesn't really come across on the video side of things, but yeah, getting a little bit of colour being thrown. And the sun itself is going behind that band of cloud that we've got, so hoping it's going to pop out, give us a nice little bit of a, a show, possibly a couple of rays if we were really lucky. But the thing with sunset, you can't guarantee you're going to get the great shots. It's the sort of thing you've got to basically, you're at the mercy of cloud and weather conditions. You just got to sort of go with it and see what happens, but hopefully we're going to get something halfway reasonable. Um, another little quick tip as well is if you're out and about, especially if you're up on the moors like we are now, and there's potential for it to get a bit dark, get yourself a decent torch. Um, they're fairly cheap, but it's really handy. So if you go to rough terrain like we are going to be doing down back on the lane, um, yeah, it's handy to have it in the pocket just in case. Uh, but definitely warm coat, decent brew. And get out there with the uh, with the camera, and go and enjoy yourself. That's the key to it. Another quick tip as well is if you've got a fairly bright sunlight coming through, or a bright bit of sunlight it's going to cast shadows, so if you're shooting away from the sun be aware that there's a chance that you're actually going to have your own shadow in your shot, which isn't really ideal um, which is why I tend to prefer sort of shooting towards it or sort of have the sun set to the side or something like that so then you've got less chance of actually shooting your own shadow because it had a cracking, we came up to sort of case the area earlier an absolutely brilliant shot lined up with the trick point that the camera sat at at the moment facing out across the valley, some lovely sort of light just hitting the fields absolutely beautiful except for the massive line of my own shadow ruined the shot but yeah it's just something you've got to be a little bit mindful of when you're sort of doing shots with either sort of bright sunlight or if you're in for a sunset if it's a quite sort of a strong sunset it could throw a little bit too much shadow on um, this one's looking like it might be a bust at the moment but we're still getting a nice bit of, sort of colour in the background which is quite nice um, sometimes you can actually get better sunsets behind you away from the, uh, the actual sort of sunset itself so yeah sometimes it can be well worth actual uh, sort of look further behind rather than sort of at the main event as it were Yeah, so it's not really sort of happening over there. It's looking all right, but it's not astounding. Uh, what we are getting is some lovely pink skies up around there with that tower. And you can't quite see it at the minute because it did be on the cloud, but there's actually a first quarter moon up there as well. Um, which, if it comes out, I might try and sort of line something up. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens on there. But you can see the belt of Venus over there, that nice sort of bluey pinky effect over on the horizon line. That's what I was hoping it was going to be more over there, but there's a bit too much cloud to do it. But again, when you're doing this sort of thing, you are absolutely at the mercy of nature. This is you know, the way of it. You can't really tell. You can come up and like, case out the area, think it's all right, come up and yeah, things don't quite work. But I mean, it is starting to kick off, but I don't think it's anything we really get a composition out of. I've just spinning you around towards the sun now. That cloud up there is really starting to glow because the sun's now sort of heading down there and it's sort of disappeared off behind the horizon but you're getting all that sort of colour being lifted um, sometimes it can actually work better once the sun's gone down give it 10 minutes and it just blooms up you can get some really lovely colours in the sky uh, a few years back we actually did one went out for a sunset absolute bust it didn't work at all and when we sort of give it like oh give it 10 minutes then we'll head off and literally it's like someone sort of lit a fire underneath the sky it just blew up absolutely brilliant for the next half hour the glow was astounding um yes yeah, so you can't always sort of call it but this one well we'll see what happens we're still going to hang around for it so let's see what happens really 
And uh, well, really, it's okay. Keep your fingers crossed. So there we are. Um, not fantastic sunset, but quite pretty. Um, typically, we've decided to sit behind a thick bank of clouds, so we can't do anything with that. Uh, but yeah, we've had, it's been quite nice. There's a few lovely little sort of scenes that have uh, cropped up. It would have been nice if we got a bit more colour to it, but that is what it is. I mean, I'll just swing you around now. It says just that bit of colour in the sky now. Uh, just a bit of an afterglow, but that's now fading off. Um, it looks slightly better over there, but there's nothing really you can compose on that side of it. But yeah, you take the rough with a smooth and uh, see what you can find, but yeah, definitely want to come back to it, I think. If you can get one that's yeah, a particularly nice night, I think it'll work brilliantly. Uh, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a big thumbs up and uh, like I say, comment and subscribe. That's all I can say to it. But from a very windy, quite chilly, Sir William Hill trip point, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Feel